Satriani ought to be well known by now, having released more than 30 albums, the most recent of which is The Elephants of Mars, taught a generation of aspiring rock stars, and supported the top tier of the rock elite such Mick Jagger and Deep Purple. Even still, the exclusively instrumentalist thinks that 85% of the audience is witnessing me for the first time on most nights. Naturally, Satch is aware that he must perform his more well-known tunes, but out of consideration for his audience, Satriani frequently throws in a few undiscovered treasures. No matter what songs are played, Satriani and his power trio captivate listeners with soaring instrumentals, hard-hitting fusion-like jams, jazzy interludes, and sound effects that sound like they belong in a science fiction movie. Satriani's musical preferences span a variety of genres, having been exposed to jazz, rock, soul, classical music, and science fiction as a child. But did you know that he had previously played guitar in a disco band? Unexpected, but true. Joseph Satriani born July 15, 1956, in Long Island. Satriani is regarded as a top guitar virtuoso and is a very technical guitarist. He began playing the guitar at the age of 14, after hearing about Jimi Hendrix's passing. Blues rock guitar greats like Jimi Hendrix, Brian May, Eric Clapton, Jimmy Page, Richie Blackmore, and Jeff Beck had an influence on Satriani. Billy Bauer, a jazz guitarist, and Lenny Tristano, a reclusive jazz pianist, were Satriani's instructors for music lessons in 1974. Satriani was a member of the Greg Kinn Band before beginning his famous solo career. Joe Satriani's first instrument was in guitar electric Hagstrom. Joe was exposed to Ibanez guitars by Steve Vai. Joe was thrilled when he used a prototype that Ibanez had provided to Steve Vai. Since 1988, Joe Satriani has only played his own signature instrument from Ibanez, the JS series. His most well-known guitar features a chrome-like coating on the body. Satriani, who was born in the 1950s, loved science fiction TV programs like The Twilight Zone and One Step Beyond. Satriani's musical style was influenced by the odd musical accompaniment and sound effects, as well as the inventive guitar playing of players like Jimi Hendrix and Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath. All those amusing TV shows regarding UFOs and my idols like Jimi Hendrix served as my foundation. To me, representing the sound of the universe through music and the guitar seemed extremely natural. Everything centered on breaching the rules. In high school, Satriani participated in hard rock cover bands and later absorbed jazz fusion. He was a member of a traveling disco band, Unknown. We termed it progressive dance music. Being on stage and having no one pay attention to you was the worst kind of agony for a musician, I concluded after roughly six months of touring in Ohio. I was taking bebop lessons before that road trip. Back to that, I went. Joe has performed with other bands, including Greg Kinn's band, Deep Purple, and Spinal Tap. Additionally, Mick Jagger invited him to join him on his solo tour. Frank Zappa's bandmate Steve Vai introduced Joe to Relativity Records. Relativity Records provided Joe the opportunity to make a record that didn't sound like the drum machines he had been using at the time he was producing Not of This Earth album. Not of This Earth, his debut EP from 1986, was created for personal growth and to see what it would be like to produce something different and then try to sell it. Satriani was startled even after the instrumental concept was a success. Instrumental music is ineffective. You probably won't ever see me invited to play in the Super Bowl. People don't consider it to be a widely accepted movement. 
I don't believe I ever considered making a living playing instruments. I stumbled into being an instrumental musician. The thought of touring with an instrumental show was originally intimidating, even after the success of Surfing with the Alien, which Satriani was confident would be the last record they'd ever let us produce. I had never before performed instrumental music for a crowd. I had never done this before. I'm a rock band member. I am a lead singer in a rock band. Joe Satriani won the Maestro Award in 2015 and the Outstanding Guitarist Award in 1991. Joe Satriani has been nominated for 15 Grammy Awards. Surfing with the Alien album achieved platinum status in the US and peaked at number 29 on the Billboard chart. And for more information, since joining the band in 2000, Satriani has played guitar for the supergroup Chickenfoot. Support this channel by hit subscribe button. See you in the next video.